Let's start our service this morning by singing. Uh, we're going to sing Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. And the words for all of our songs this morning are going to be on the screen. So you won't have to flip through your hymnal. But um, we're going to start with Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Jesus came into my heart and 
Good morning. We're doing some things a little bit different today. This is the fifth Sunday of the month, and historically speaking, and speaking from our own tradition with friends, it used to be that most churches, especially rural churches, they didn't have their own pastor. They would split a pastor between several congregations, and so uh, it would come out where sometimes you'd have a pastor the first Sunday of every month, and then the rest of them, your elders and others, would provide. And then if you got really good, you could do two Sundays, and you'd split one with another church, and so you'd have first and third, and they'd have second and fourth. And somebody asked one time, well, what do you do with fifth Sunday? Now, what do you think was the solution to that? There's usually four fifth Sundays, we'll take two and you take two. No, that'd mess up the whole system, right? And so they'd give the pastor fifth Sundays off. And so a lot of times when they, when they came up and they were doing, a, a church got their own pastor. Sometimes they were just in the habit of doing singings for fifth Sunday, so the pastor got off. And so I'm here, I'm not off. <laughs> but we're doing something that we used to do a long time ago and that churches have done for a long time, uh, historically speaking, and that is have a, a special service on the fifth Sunday. Uh, and I think that's a, a, a fun thing to do. So we're going to have our hymn service today. So we'll have hymns and scripture and hymns and announcements and hymns and scripture and, and, and call it a day and we'll have fun today. So I'm excited about all of that. Uh, we did want to welcome you to our fifth Sunday hymn fest. We're glad that you're here. Uh, we'll see some new faces and some others. So welcome to this place. We're glad uh, that you're here. We do have a few announcements that are in the bulletin and a couple that are not in the bulletin. But if you look at the bulletin, you'll see some things that are going on. Uh, for Fifth Sunday today, we'll not have children's church, so the children can just stay, and we'll be singing. And so if children are children during this service, please don't feel uh, bad at all. Just let them stay in the service. We're happy to have them. And uh, so uh, there, it won't, won't be children's church. You can look at some things coming up. There's a, an ad for the movie Jesus Revolution that's coming up. If you're interested in that, August the 6th is first Sunday. We'll have monthly meeting and ministry and council and that kind of thing. I love Chatham is doing a dinner a fundraiser on August the 12th. We'd love for you to look at that, uh, find out more information. Uh, Forever Young is also having a cookout social that day. Uh, you can tell into August who's meeting when and where. Uh, the children and, and youth are doing a pool day and things like that, but you can look ahead and stay informed on that. One more thing that's not in the bulletin, but for tonight, Daniel Jordan uh, is our ministry uh, coordinator for our, the larger group that we uh, belong to. He has spoken here several times, and many of y'all know him. Uh, he has invited us and his, his church, the one that he's a part of in Asheboro, to a night of worship and prayer. That's tonight, uh, starting at 5 o'clock p.m. If you need more information about that, uh, you can let me know, including the address, which I have here before me. But uh, his church is New Life Family Fellowship, and they're just going to gather for, for worship and prayer tonight. But they've invited as many of us as would like to come to that. Uh, and then also, by way of announcement, um, I was asked to announce, people have asked uh, that maybe they knew that uh, Wendell's sister passed away. Uh, and we do, uh, this morning I have the, uh, the arrangements to share. There'll be a funeral uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow at Center Methodist uh, with visitation to follow. So the funeral's tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. Are there any other announcements or things that I need to report at this time? We will not be having choir practice this Wednesday, and there will not be youth group tonight. I know those are also things that are true, I think. Yes. So we will be singing, but we're not having practice this Wednesday. Let's open up for a time of prayer. And I know that uh, the Sunday school class that usually meets and hands us names did not meet. We were meeting in the fellowship hall and eating. So I wonder if we have folks that we would like to pray for this week. Yes. Yeah, so Phil's going through some radiation this week in regards to a little bit of growth that they found in the last uh, scan that they did. So I think it's a little bit every day for five days. AJ? So we're 
continuing to pray for Preston, and he, you know, had that seizure, I guess, a little while back and waiting on all the tests. Alex and his wife having a baby. Thank you, Deborah. Uh, my brother Darren and Tammy and everything they're going through right now with Bailey, the little pit bull, she's, she's struggling. Okay. I mean, really struggling right now. Uh, my, myself, uh, for pulled muscle and on my back this, uh, this past week, uh, Pastor Mike Price, uh, they buried his mama. Okay. Yesterday, and I know that's got to be tough on that family right now. And I'd like to remember my family, their salvation. Thank you. Thank you. Angel Overman and, and all the family. Thank you. Charles and Abby. Okay, Charles and Abby. Let's pray. Yes. Kay's family. Kay's family. Thank you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this opportunity as we're in the service of worship just to stop and we may sing songs about you and we may sing songs to you and but just to stop and to talk to you, Lord, in the midst of, of everything that's going on in life, just to slow down enough to say, hey, God. And to spend a few moments in your presence and to spend a few moments in conversation. We're grateful that you're a God who seeks out relationship with us, that seeks out conversation with us. And we are afraid and ashamed that sometimes we don't make as much time for that prayer as we should, Lord. And so we just sit here and in this conversation you say in your word to bring us our concerns and we've mentioned those. You've heard those mentioned today in our service. We know as many... Uh, perhaps that have, have been thinking about people that need prayer that, that have, have kept those names unspoken. And we want to lift those up to you because you not only know the words that come out of our mouth, but the thoughts that are in our, our hearts before we would even share them. And so we're grateful that you're an all-powerful God and a wonderful God. And in each situation, you know our hearts. And in each situation, you know what we want. We want healing for those who are going through difficult times. Sometimes we know things are going on. We just want to know what what it means and how life is changing and sometimes the unknown can be worse than what actually happens you know lord that we're a people of anxiety and a people of worry and a people of care and you love us anyway and so we're grateful for that but what you want lord when we bring to you our prayers is to release those to you and to the best of our ability lord we cast our cares upon you today lord for the rest of our service we pray that you would just bring our hearts into the worship as our voices sing May our hearts sing to you the wonderful words of life that we'll be singing today. We lift up to you as a, as a hymn of worship, Lord, today. And we pray that it will be a sweet-smelling fragrance as you reference the songs of your people in the Old Testament that would be pleasing to you today. Continue to be here in our worship, we pray in Jesus' name. Let's continue. One thing that I did want to let you know was um, after we put in the in the uh, newsletter that we were going to have the hymn fest, we didn't have anybody running to us saying, "Will you sing this hymn?" So <laughs> we we picked out these hymns, and they're ones that are our favorites or some of our favorites because it seems like every time we turn the page, either Ann or I want to say, "Oh." That one. We've got to sing that one. And we had about 30 hymns. So we had to narrow it down. But anytime, anytime that you have a song that's been laid on your heart, you let one of us know. And we'll be glad to sing it at some point in during the congregation or the choir or or whatever. But you'd let us know if there's anything special that you want us to sing. As we go through this next year, as we go through this next season, um, but we'll be glad to do that. But one of the songs that we picked out was Rock of Ages.
we were, um, Mom asked Lee and I to come up with some scriptures for today, and so the obvious choices was to look at the book of Psalms, which are basically hymns, and I think some of them uh, may have historically been put to music or had music or some sort of instrumental accompaniment to them. They wasn't music like, like we have, but it was some sort of music that went with them. But they are hymns of praise to the Lord, so we're going to read a couple of those today. The first one is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the earth in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Let's all stand again. I think that sometimes we can sing songs while we're, we're sitting, and sometimes it's just better if we stand up and, and praise the Lord that way. I've just lost my paper. <laughs> okay. Um, but the song we're going to sing now is the Old Rugged Cross.
that I hope that we have enough of the kids that can come up here and, and help us sing. So all everybody that was in Bible school, you can come up here. We're going to sing This Little Light of Mine. So come on, <laughs> kids. I need help. <laughs> Are you going to stand right here? Okay, y'all can stand right here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to sing this little... With Anne's help, we're going to sing this little light of mine. <laughs> y'all ready? Okay. It, yes, y'all are going to sing too. Everybody's going to sing, but they're going to, they're going to help us. They're going to help all of us. <laughs> so here we go. Psalm 100, a psalm for giving grateful praise. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Okay, I know that you just sat, but these next songs that we're going to sing are not sitting songs. They're, they're standing up songs. So let's stand up again. <laughs> We're going to sing Victory in Jesus. Thank you. 
is so good and the words will be on the screen. As we do, let's just sing the first verse of God is so good one more time.
as we've <clears throat> gone through these songs, the ones that Ann and I picked out, and then singing them here today, I've been reminded of many, <clears throat> excuse me, in the past, um, that I can just I, I I can just look down and just see them singing, and um, it's so special to know that those who have gone on before us had such depth for our hymns and for our music and for our activities, our services, things that have happened all along the way, and we've got so much to be thankful for. They've given us such a broad um, base. They've, they've taught us things. Um, we have, we remember back, I remember when, when I first started coming to South Fork, it was right after Harry and I got married, and, and we had, I don't know, three or four rows of people at the front. <laughs> who would, you know, the, the ameners there, they would stand up, they would testify, they would, just miraculous things. And I thought that was the most wonderful thing ever, you know, to know that somebody was um, rejoicing in the fact that they were a Christian. And, and I know that we do that as we travel in our private lives and, and there's little things that we do that others notice as we go along. And, it's just so special, but especially to have them as role models for us. Um, we had people singing in the choir that just gave their entire heart when they sang. We had people sitting out here that gave their entire heart when they sang as well. But uh, there's just so many things that we should be thankful for. We've got. We're just such a blessed church. We're such a blessed community. And um, I, I don't want to ever forget it. And if you think about somebody who was a long time ago, you tell your family about them today. If you can think of a person, you say, you know what? it just brought back to my mind about this person and how they used to do, then you tell your family about that so that tradition can go on. But our last song this morning is going to be, if you'll stand, Blessed Be the Tie, just the first verse. dismissed in peace, love, and harmony. <laughs> 